Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Tap. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to animate the trim paths of a text layer. Now, text layers um, on their own, you can't actually animate a trim path. So I'm gonna show you how to convert them to a shape layer and then actually animate a trim paths just to have them animate in. We're also gonna be having a look at how we do the same to a logo. So then you can animate a logo and some text with the trim paths feature. And by the end of this tutorial, you should have a really nice finished piece. So let's stop wasting time. Let's jump on into the tutorial. Okay, so before we jump into After Effects, let's have a quick look at what we're gonna create. So if I give this a little play from the beginning, what we've got is we've got some text which has been converted to a shape layer so that we can use the trim paths um, technique. And I've also got a little logo here, which I've also added the same thing to, but we're focusing on the text today. But I'll show you how to do the full thing anyway. So I'm gonna jump back into After Effects. I'm gonna go File, New, project and just make a new comp 1920 by 1080 and that's great i'm going to get my text tool i'm going to click in here and i'm going to type creative tap uh, i just want to align this so i'm going to go to my align window and click horizontal and vertical um, if you can't find the align window just window align make sure it's ticked all right um, i'm going to change my color to white um, let's just go stroke and white, bingo. Now, if I wanna animate a trim paths on this, I actually can't um, because it's a text layer. You see, if we go down here and go to the animation um, effectors, now there's no trim paths in here. So what you've got to do is you've got to right click and go to create and create shape some text. Now your create shape some text may actually be in this main view, but if it isn't, it's just in this create tab. Depends what version of After Effects you're using, right? So create shape some text, click that. And now what we've got is our text layer has been disabled with the, the visibility has been disabled. And now if we click down in here, go to the contents, we've got a path for each individual letter, okay? So if I now go to add and trim paths, that'll go below. And let's click this by here. This will turn off the path visibility and it'll just show us now this. So if we come to the trim paths, we can animate from, we can animate the start, say 100% here, come forward to two seconds, which for me is 50 frames, because I'm in 25 frames per second. And let's turn this down to zero. And what we've got is this nice little animation. Now each um, individual letter is doing it is animated individually so if you come to trim multiple shapes it's do it's saying that each individual shape is going to do simultaneously but if you go to individually what you've got now is it works through it's going backwards um but it works through the entire um word so you'll maybe want to make this longer um but it's doing each individual letter now the reason mine's going backwards is because I've animated the wrong thing. So if you're doing it um, individually, I'm just gonna come to the beginning, I'm gonna bring my end down to zero and come forward say to 100 and bring it up to 100%. Now it's gonna go forward like that. But if you wanna do them simultaneously, then you know by all means do them simultaneously which means they happen together okay so i'm just going to do mine together and it'll say 50 frames boom that's that's what i like so i'm going to minimize that i'm going to hold shift while i click and drag them up to the top what i'm also going to do is i'm just going to import my logo like that and i'm going to use this now as a guide so bring it down and bring this down here what I'm gonna do is lock all these layers, and in fact, I can get rid of this bottom one. That's the old text layer. And I'm going to fast forward and time lapse this while I get the pen tool, and on a new layer, draw around this tap so we can apply the same effect. So I'm gonna fast forward the video as I do this. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so now I've drawn around the outside of this tap image, what I'm gonna do is just unlock the guide, which was the image I imported, delete it. And now I've got the outline here on this shape layer. So I'll rename it to tap outline. And all I wanna do for this one is I wanna animate the trim paths. So if I hit the layer below, I'm gonna hit U and it'll show me my keyframes. So it was actually frame 49 I animated up to. So let's just adjust that. And it, it just shows me now where to animate this one. So if I go to add on the tap outline, go to where is it? Trim paths, come down and let's um, turn this little path visibility off. And I'll bring the end to zero. Hit a stopwatch, come to where this one finishes, which is 50 frames, and I'm going to bring my end like that. I think I'm going to change the stroke of this to a blue and go like that, and maybe a lighter blue, um, something like that, maybe like an electric blue, something like that. That's nice. And then what I've got is this animation. I'm going to take these end keyframes and hit F9, or if you right click and go keyframe assistant, turn them to easy ease. And there you go, they should kind of ease to an end now. And finally, what I want to do is I want to add a bit of a glow. I've got an additional shape layer here, I'm not sure why. If I turn the visibility off, it's not doing anything, so I'll hit delete. Um, what I want to do is add a layer, new adjustment layer. I'm going to come to the effect and presets, and I'm going to add a glow. And I'm going to add a second glow, so duplicate it, and I'm going to change my threshold just to up to no my radius sorry to 40. okay so if we turn this on and off we can see what that's doing and now we've got this nice little animation okay so that's basically how you take a text layer and translate it or convert it to a shape layer to animate the um, trim paths and obviously then you've got access to all of the other animators within here like for example wiggle paths um, which is a little bit mental, um, but you can obviously have a go with that, turn it into some sort of electric writing. I'm going to delete that wiggle pass, but you've, you've got access to all of the other animators in there. And yeah, that's a nice little logo animation. So I hope you enjoyed that little um, quick tutorial. Um, check out some of the other tutorials. Uh, thanks for checking in and hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Cheers.